Hey guys, I'm back again, Karen here. I made a short version of my YouTube live. Uh, I recorded it, I think, in March. Um, we were all um, very shocked about the Corona thing and everybody was locked at home and we didn't know what to do. So I thought, well, let's give a live. Um, I used uh, MDF Heart and uh, took a stencil from uh, Little Birdie. When it dries, it looks really nice, like real crackle. You can see it at the end. After that, I dried it and put a layer of gesso on it. So my paint, which I'm going to use afterwards, is not going to soak into the, the MDF. I used uh, a rice paper from Cadence because I liked the text on it very, very much. You hold the key to my heart. I put it on there with a the soft glue uh, gel from uh, Finnebear because it's really smooth to handle and really nice to, uh, to, pair, to, pair, yeah, to glue it with. It will stay in place and it will not give me bubbles in my rice paper because I do not like that. After that I took some rope and I made some layers, kind of textures uh, around my heart because I think that's very nice when you do that. It gives a little yeah, a little wowie <laughs> to your canvas, I think. The key you see is a mid-form casting. They are really, really awesome. And I put a, a snip art uh, chipboard on there. I liked it because I had some flowers from Little Birdie. They have some great flowers you can all see after this. First I took the first layer of a cardboard and put it there just to give it some texture, to give it some fun, some playful things in your canvas. I like that very much. Because you get another structure and you get another kind of um, color of your paint. Here you see the beautiful flowers from uh, Little Birdie. They are really, really gorgeous. They are made by women in India and the women are getting paid to make these flowers. So they support their, uh, their women in the country and I really like that kind of thinking. So crafting and helping together. I'm going to give my chipboard um, or my cardboard a white gesso paint on it. A little bit and my chipboard I'm going to paint with uh, the acrylic paint sparkles from Finnebear and I used the ginger magic because it fit my flowers very well. These paints are permanent and they really give a, a lot of shine, there's a lot of pigment in there and they are really sparkling. So the name is does the product right. I'm gluing it with um, uh, with a normal glue, a tacky glue, and I used uh, a technique for gluing which Olga Heldwein told me. Just put, it, uh, put some um, tacky glue on a, a surface and then put your uh, chipboard in there so you do not have any blobs of glue on your chipboard or on your canvas and all is covered which has to be covered. I took another midform embellishment, a little gear. I place it there and give it a white coat of gesso so it will take the color I want it to have. Gluing is very good, drying it's very good, so it will not come off when I spray with water afterwards. The little heart is also a snip art MDF uh, piece. When I started I didn't know what, to, what, what I was going to do, just building up, uh, making the life and talking with each other but I knew I wanted to use the liquids acrylic from uh, Finnebear and I used the tiger orange that I used the first and then after that the amber the burnt sienna sorry you 
Put it on your uh, canvas and spray with water so it will flow through your uh, embellishments and your background and it will give a really really nice um, end result. You can see after I'm, uh, after I'm done drying you will see how beautiful it is. Here also I diluted it with water and look at that color. It's really beautiful and permanent after drying which is very important. The water will keep it flowing and will make it give a look like it's like a natural because water will flow in its natural way. This is the burnt sienna. It's darker than the tiger orange. What I love about these is that they go into the crackle which I made earlier and they still you can still see the rice paper uh, text under it so it's not covering time to glue on my metform embellishment well you held uh, the key to my heart it needs a key and this is the most beautiful key I've ever seen in embellishments I will glue it with a heavy body gel from Stamperia because you need uh, a heavy body gel to put on metallics like that if you wanted them to stay, if you want them to stay on and not come off. Time to put some glue on my roses and put them in place. And my little butterfly from Finnebear. I love that detail. This canvas I made uh, at Facebook and we were just talking and laughing with each other. But also about the uh, hard times with Corona. So at the end there was a woman who has had a really hard time and I gave her this heart. She lives in the Netherlands and I know she was very glad and happy with it. Look at that crackle. You see how the color went in there? That's the beauty of acrylics. Well, I hope you liked it. Uh, my voiceover is maybe not that good, but I like talking to you like you're in my, in my life. And I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.